As the models continue through the Pagani Waira line, the final BC lightweight edition is made, officially titled the Waira Roadster BC. Today I'm standing next to a very special example, and that is the Roadster BC-3, made for Ben Caiolo III, in tribute to his father in a color combination inspired by the Zonda R that was unfortunately never constructed, but specked out until he had passed. It's white with gold and red and a tricolore accented stripe in the interior. We'll show you in this film today the inspiration from that Zonda R as it was produced in an Auto Art 118 scale model, which is absolutely stunning. And here we are with Bronzo Chiaro, Rosa Manza, and Bianco Benny, a color that was also made specifically for Benny Caiola that was first featured on a Pagani Zonda F Coupe, which is now owned by Horatio Pagani himself and living in the factory in Modena, Italy. The Roadster BC3 is just full of detail throughout. Firstly, you look at the front of the car and you see this beautiful BC3 naming on the front nose. With that, you get to see all the beautiful accenting of what is called the Pebble Beach Striping Package. As I mentioned, featured in Rosso Manza, Bronzo Chiaro, and then featured throughout with the traditional Pagani carbon fiber and the Bianco Benny pearl white paint. Accenting and air ducts and design and beauty is what makes Pagani so unique. This car is not only beautiful in so many ways, but mechanically a masterpiece with new breakthroughs in innovation, technology, design, and manufacturing for Pagani Automobili. The power of this car is immense. The gearbox is so strong, so potent, with its all new technology, with the new upgraded and redesigned six liter V12 made by AMG, the W158. The evolution of this engine is just astonishing, and the power of this car is mind-blowing. Currently fitted standard with Pirelli Corsa R tires, and it's very lightweight wheels, center locks, racing seats, racing harnesses, and now featuring a roof completely made out of carbon fiber, unlike the Roadster version before, which was made out of Gorilla Glass, a very nice, high quality, lightweight glass. With that, the car is even lighter, it's stronger, and ready for a track day or just a cruise any day of the week. My first time seeing a Pagani was quite memorable. It was at the Greenwich Concourse d'Elegance, and I remember Ben Caiola driving into the show without any particular spot that was reserved for him or was even on the chart for being displayed in his car. A spot was immediately made for him, and I uh, remember him saying, you get in my car, I will let you have a ride. And I was just like, oh my gosh, this is such a dream come true. Uh, you know, Ben Kyola is letting me uh, in his car. We drive into the show field together. We park the car in the show field amongst the different supercars. And yet again, this car was not originally invited or planned to be in the show, but of a complete surprise. And immediately, the crowds just completely were drawn to this car. For the first time ever seeing a Pagani Zonda for the first time, imagine this, is just completely mind-blowing, yet again for myself as well. With that, he was already sharing his passion to the fans, sharing this art that was never seen before in the United States. In between the seats, there's a beautiful plaque with the signatures of Benny Caiola, Benny Caiola III, and Horatio Pagani himself. Putting these three great men on one plaque brings them together in memory as this car will live on for generations and generations to come. Behind me is a beautiful picture of Horatio Pagani, Benny Caiola, and Juan Manuel Fangio. It was a beautiful painting that the Pagani family had commissioned during the 2019 Pebble Beach Concord d'Elegance. I had said, wow, what an amazing piece. It was really only supposed to be a one-off, but we had a 
limited edition set of prints made for the family, and I thought it would be only right to see Benny, Fangio, and Horatio looking upon this car together in tribute to three great men. Every special commission that the Paiola family and Miller Motor Cars have come together and joined forces have resulted in a car relating to some inspiration from the late Benny Caiola, such as you know the Bianco Benny paint, the Rosso Dubai was made specifically for Benny Caiola himself. And with that, we actually have two beautiful uh, Caiola family member cars in the showroom today. Obviously the Roadster BC, three as you see today, and then right behind it is the Rosso Dubai Wyra Roadster. When Ben Caiola III and I first spoke about the Roadster BC project, it was 2015, five years ago from the time of when we're sharing the car with him today. It was a long five years, but with great passion, time, patience, this allowed Pagani Automobili to build a masterpiece. The anticipation was built and built and exceeded his expectations. The delivery process was memorable for myself and he and I'm excited for all of you to see this car at a show in the United States in the near future. It gives us great pleasure to have commissioned this car with Ben Caiola and his family and Miller Motor Cars Pagani of Greenwich. We thank you for watching. We look forward to seeing you soon. Enjoy.